Welcome back to Also News TV and today's latest transfer news is Following Balogun close to quitting Arsenal on free transfer and signing pre-contract with foreign club amid Arteta plea. According to the reports, Following Balogun is reportedly close to signing for a team abroad despite Mikel Arteta's plea for the Arsenal striker to sign a new contract. With this deal up at the end of the season, the 90-year-old is free to negotiate a pre-contract agreement with clubs outside of England. According to the Athletic, Balogun is on the verge of agreeing a move away from the Gunners in the summer. Playing time is thought to be the youngster's reason for leaving North London and the club be first trained at the age of 8. Arteta is yet to hand Balogun his full debut in the senior team with just five outings off the bench in cup competitions this season. Fans have been impressed by the glimpses of the striker who has scored twice in Europa League runouts. Speaking on Thursday, the Gunners boss insisted there is a clear path to the first team for Balogun, but he claimed the player's agent is obstructing negotiations over a new contract. Arteta told reporters, you need three parties to make a deal. For sure, the club wants to make a deal. The manager wants to make a deal, the player wants to say, but I'm not sure about the agent. When pressed on whether Balogun's agent is behind the stalemate, Arteta insisted the player's best interest will be served by keeping him at the club. The manager added, I'm not saying he's stopping the deal. I'm saying that we need to find an agreement with him. We are negotiating with an agent, with a player that wants to stay at the club, and we need to find an agreement. I'm telling you that we are doing everything we can to keep him here and hopefully from the other part they are doing the same. They defend the same interest which is a player's interest which is to save the football club and be successful with us. Liverpool, Brentford and Sheffield United have been previously li been linked with Balogun as well as Championship Swansea in a potential loan deal. So this is the latest transfer news regarding following Balogun. In terms of why um, Balogun is poised to leave Arsenal, is in his most recent press conference, Mikel Arteta has addressed the issue and he's mentioned about all three parties making a deal. And it looks like also, um, even though Arteta has taken this scenario publicly and he's told everyone in, in this press conference, Arsenal have rejected a £5 million offer from Brentford for Balogun last January and it was initially hoped they could find a breakthrough in talks. The contract offer has not improved substantially in recent months, however, nor has it come close to meeting the player's demand. In terms of other concerns what um, Balogun has is that there are also concerns over whether Balogun has been afforded enough playing time. He's been used as five substitute appearances in his cup competitions and he scored twice. But he hasn't even made a start or appeared in the Premier League. So how does this come about? Well, it comes about because due to Balogun being represented by Elite Project Group, who in recent years have negotiated contracts for the likes of Chuba, Akpom, Alexa Wolby, Rhys Nelson and Pukayo Saka, all seemingly without a significant problem. In the case of Saka and Nelson, both players were a be able to agree renewals in the final year of their contracts. With this current contract less than six months for expiry, Balogun is now free to negotiate with clubs outside the UK. And in terms of what else um, you want to know, there's obviously other things regarding Balogun. Is, does he really want to say at Arsenal? There was a teaser he released on his Twitter account where he was talking about 2021 and his um, highlights as an Arsenal player. And he looks like he does want to stay at Arsenal. So we don't know, and there was also talks regarding that maybe Balogun wanted 100k a week wages. And for, for a youngster like Balogun, who's not even getting opportunity at the moment, for £100,000, um, I think that's a bit too much in my opinion. I think you can go in the region of forty to £50,000 a week. I don't know how much he's on currently. But in terms of what I've seen of him, he does look like a strong player. And let's be honest with that, he's um, had a good hold-up play and... The huge comparison is between him and Eddie and Ketia. So hopefully Arteta can do something to try and make him sign a new deal or make him play a run of games or make him play in the Europa League, give him starts and try and make him sign a deal before the summer transfer window because he can look, it looks like he's already agreeing a pre-contract with a foreign club and it looks like somewhere in, could be a PSV, it could be any team that we don't know and it could be even a, uh, an opposing team like Liverpool. 
So hopefully Arturo can do something with this deal. And make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video. Remain blessed and peace.